driving up the far wall. Adam Bird tried to play it down low, intercepted by Master Donato, and he springs White on a breakaway forehand, and he just flubbed it past Cranley, and off the reset, Harsh scores! Welcome to Boise! Reese Harsh gives the Steelheads a one to nothing lead with 7.25 to play in the first. Well, White had the breakaway opportunity and the rolling puck on him, he sent it wide and Harsh had stepped up in the play from the neutral zone and a nice little feed there from Jordan Kawaguchi to find Reese Harsh. And the Steelheads take a 1-0 lead at 12.36. It's Harsh's first as a Steelhead from Kawaguchi. Messner trying to rip it off the handle of Kanade. Now out through center. Here come the Grizzlies. Three on one developing. High slot Teixeira. Far side Bocage and a sliding right leg stop by Brian Thompson. Once again on Alex Bocage to keep it a 1-0 Idaho lead with 13-20 remaining here in the second. Back the other way, Mastro Donato to the high slot, and Kawaguchi scores! A big time stop by Brian Thompson leads to a big time goal back the other way. Mastro Donato at the near hash marks to the high slot for Kawaguchi, who beats Cranley near side and the Steelheads increase their lead to two to nothing at 6.49 of period number two. Back in his own zone, shadowing him is our Curry, and now intercepted by Neerum. Left circle, backhand, forehand, he scores! Willie Neerum with a beauty! It's three nothing Idaho! With 12.07 to go in the second. Neerum intercepted it on the left wing wall. The right-handed shooter drove through the left circle, pulled it to his backhand, then below the near circle, pulled it back to his forehand and sends it past the glove of Cranley for his 16th goal of the season. And just like that, the Steelheads have increased their lead to three to nothing. Steelheads with goals from Harsh, Kawaguchi, and Neerum out in front, the Grizzlies score. Utah will get on the board, cutting their deficit down to two with 8.16 to go in the middle frame. And it looks like Aaron Aragon will have his 12th goal of the season. Grizzlies in their black sweaters, white and green trim, skating right to left here, broken up by Idaho. Two on two rush, Pelton Bice, the trailer, Murphy back for Pelton Bice. He scores! Tic tac toe! And the Steelheads are back out in front by three. Pelton Bice gets his 16th of the season. And it comes at 12 43 in the second period. Just 63 seconds after the Grizzlies got on the board. Pelton Bice down the left wing. Outside the left circle fed the trailer Murphy in the right circle who went back for Pelton Bice at the near post. He smashes it past Cranley. Pelton Bice will feed Murphy up the right wing. Now Merchant down to the far corner. Murphy out in front for Merchant. He scores! Will Merchant in the high slot hammers it past Cranley. And it's 5-1 Steelhead with 2.50 to go in the second. Merchant above the right hash marks. Played down low to the corner for Murphy who attacked the far side of the goal line and fed Merchant in the high slot who bangs it past Cranley for his seventh goal of the season. A four goal second period now for the Idaho Steelheads. Mayhew will bend it to the far wall. Fitz now, his shot blocked. Mayhew turns it around and scores. 
Well, Dylan Fitz had the initial bid that was blocked down and popped right out to the stick of Kyle Mayhew. Just above the high slot, a spin around shot went off the crossbar and into the back of the net. Here's an empty net shot and a goal. Jake Murray with the empty net tally. Back in his own zone outside the far circle. He'll twirl it into the empty net and it's 6-2 Idaho with a minute 45 to play in regulation. Three. 20 seconds remaining in regulation. The Idaho Steelheads have continued their dominance against this Utah Grizzlies club. To improve to 8-1-1 in the head-to-head -head season series, including 5-0 here at the Maverick Center, as it's a 6-2 Wednesday night victory to kick off this three-game set.